All right, guys, here we go. Back with another one. As you can see, we got something a little special today. Got a uh, score to this 1994 GT Dino uh, bicycle here. And it's been something I was actually looking into doing about a year ago. I was wanting to build like a retro bike like I used to have back in the day. But just looking at it, having to piece all this stuff together, buying a frame and all that stuff, piecing it together. I was like, I don't want to get into all that. But we come across the mothership yesterday. So without further ado, let's let you guys check this out. I'm going to do a little close-up video after I get through here yakking a little bit about it. But let's check this out. <laughs> Lower the camera down a little bit. There we go. Get it in frame here. Check that out. 1994 Dino Comp. Chrome frame. All original. This bike has literally been purchased maybe ridden a few times maybe and literally put in a in a garage or something found this on the side of the road somebody put it on the side of the road to be thrown away it laid there all day yesterday went and picked it up last night with another one there was another one there an old junker laying there with it just laying there flat tires everything i aired the tires up boom they're still aired up it's got some rust on it, but I believe this thing is going to be a cherry if we can uh, get it all polished up. That's why I wanted to do this video just a little before, and that way I can do a part two after I get it cleaned up and we can see what we're working with. But this is, this is going to be a cool project here. I'm super stoked about this. This takes me back to my childhood days. I had a 92 Dino VFR. I got that when I was 12 years old. My, I think it, it was either my 12th or 13th birthday. I can't remember. One of the two. It was a 92 or 93. One of the two. But I know it was a 92 VFR. Had the uh, gunmetal fade to black frame. That's what I rode all as a kid. Just about up, and, up until I got that bike. I would rode other bikes. But that's what I rode from 12 years on to 16. When I got my car keys, I kind of gave all that stuff, the bicycle stuff up away. But I've been wanting to do like a retro build just to take me back to the old days. And this fell into my arms. I mean, this is crazy. But let's, let's get you all an up close look at this, let you take a look at it. I mean, it's just, it's a cherry. It's, I mean, it's got some rust on it, but I mean, that's to be expected. Let's get you off the camera here, off the tripod. Check this bike out. Microphone around here. Apologize here. That way I'm not talking and you don't hear me. There we go. Sorry about that. Check that out. Probably gonna have to get a new set of handlebars for it. These are pretty bad. That's really the major rust is on the handlebars. They might clean up, but they may not. I don't know. Gonna get some new bolts for the, the neck here. It's got an Odyssey neck on it. Check that out. Very cool. Let's go down here. Got the Bulldog brakes on it. That's original from the factory. I mean, look at this. I mean, these these cables haven't even been touched. Got the original pegs on it, GT pegs. This sticker's a little messed up right here, but that's just about it. There. There's one more that's kind of peeling off a little bit, but other than that, original rims. Check out these tires. Check that out. 
And you see it's still got the little pricklies on there. This is just sweet. There's the, the gyro. I'm sure if you're some of you BMX guys, old school BMX guys coming across this video will like this. That's that's who I'm doing it for. Here's the back of it here. Kind of greasy. It's sweet. It is sweet. Got the original chain on it. It's, I mean, it is all original. The old dyno seat. The pegs date. They got the they got the '94 on them. So that says '94 there. Of course, that could have been changed, but I'm pretty sure it's a '94 or '95. The serial number's got a five at the at the front of it. it's uh it's S. It's got SS something on it, and then five, then some numbers. I'll put the I'll put the serial. I'm gonna research the serial number, and when we do the second video, after I get it cleaned up, I'll do some more research on that and give some more info on that. But here's I mean you can see where the rust is right in there. I believe I might be able to get that off there with some steel wool. I've had success with that on my on my old school, uh, my old uh, dyno that I had when it would get some rust on it. I used uh, steel wool and got it off. Got a little rust down here and on the arms here. It's just a sweet back. Let's see if you can get the other side. Look at the other side of it here. Very sweet. All original, guys. All original. And then you can see it's still got a uh, sticker here. Got the sticker there. Somebody has literally just bought this and I guess put it in a garage for all these years. It looks almost silver because of the chrome so dirty on it, but it, it rubs off. As you can see, it was really dirty. I've, I've wiped the seat of it off and this top part, the rest of it hasn't really been touched. But I just can't believe these tires, these tires aired up. Sweet bot. I'm wanting, I'm thinking maybe putting some uh, some black mags on it. Kind of expensive for the for the ones that are in good shape, but it would look great with some skyways on it or something. Maybe some I like I like those uh, tomahawks, but those are those those are expensive. Anyways guys, all right there here's part one. Stay tuned for part two, and then maybe we'll do a part three on if I put some uh, mags on it, and we'll after I get it finished up. But part two will be just me getting it cleaned up, letting you see how everything turned out on it. That's going to end this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on this little project. We'll see you later, guys. Over and out of here. Peace.